So, there is a new Backrooms game. This Backrooms game is very different though. I've had people say some pretty wild stuff about this, that this is the scariest Backrooms game yet. Now here's, here's the big catch. Here is the big, big, terrible, terrible thing about this game. It listens to my mic. Which means I am limited on talking. So I'm gonna have to like whisper and try to keep talking to a minimum. But it is very scary when I heard that. I saw that literally right before stream and I was like, oh God, I have to stream a game that hears my voice. It's just, that's gonna be rough. So here's the thing. I don't know if this is like a linear story or what, like I don't know how this works. So, okay, The Backrooms 1998 is a survival horror game where you have to find clues to unravel the story on how you ended up in the backrooms. Search for supplies, tools, and items to help you escape. This will be an escape room game, so you have to check all corners and each path closely. You can also find some tools that can help you in your journey, such as a spray gun in the backrooms which can help you to mark your paths on the walls. That is why checking every corner is vital. Things you may see in the shadows are sometimes not shadows. Something or someone may be lurking in there with you. Use your stamina only when needed and tread carefully. Hiding in crawl spaces, under tables, or inside lockers if you see something unusual can be a good idea. There's just so many red flags. I don't like that it doesn't say the microphone thing. There's not even a setting for it, but I know I I saw this. Like I I'm I'm not tripping. I saw I saw something about a microphone. Alright, whatever, let's just jump in. Oh god damn. Yeah, so I might not be able to talk at certain points. But we'll see. And we are rolling. September 19th. Nice one, Drake. Little, a little under a year. Look at these fools I was born to skate. after this. <laughs> Come on, man, do something cool. Want to be famous, right? <laughs> Want to be famous? Gotta do some cool stuff. Primrose, thank you for the hundred bits. Oh, yeah, Appreciate great. it. Thank you. This guy does terrible camera work. You see it? It is picking up my microphone. Damn. Oh god, this... Fuck. Testing! Alright. So my normal voice immediately makes this microphone peak. I'm gonna have to whisper. I can't even whisper! Because the mic still goes crazy if I whisper. Alright, whatever. We'll figure this out. Okay. Alright, skateboard is broken. We got some bugs. Dude, this is gonna suck. Did I just whistle? Hello? A game made by Steel Curl Studio. This is looking crazy so far. Thank God. Thank you. They gave me a flashlight. Oh, it's got a battery life though. Shit. Alright. We're just gonna go room by room. They said check every corner. I'm, I'm just gonna talk normally for right now until we run into something or until I think something's getting close What is with do you see on the bottom right? There's like a little is that a paint can? Dishes damn mad bugs Guys You think this is funny? Guys All right, so we can move stuff uh, that door is boarded up. I'm guessing we could maybe take the boards up. All right. At least I'm not alone. Anyone around? I don't like that. Okay, battery. Crowbar. Oh, there we go. Nice and quick. Cool. Hello? Is anybody in here? Okay. Alright. Alright. Last time I do that. 
Should I go that way? Guys, if you ever see arrows pointing where to go, always follow them. Don't actually do that, I was kidding. Hello? Dude, stop yelling hello. Hmm. I don't like that. There's a locker there. Some items can also be interacted with. Damn, they don't give me enough time to read anything, dude. That's creepy. That's very creepy. Lil Timmy, when he was younger with his favorite jacket after eating his favorite lunch, fried chicken, so happy, love you. Yeah, let's turn that off. Okay, just turn back on. Whatever. Guys, this isn't funny. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I thought that was something else. <laughs> That's a it's, it's cute baby, cute doll. What is that? Hello? Are you a statue or are you real? Hello? Oh, it's a mannequin. So if I get close to you, you're not gonna. S Fuck. There's two. Okay. All right. There's there's more than two. There's something very, very wrong about this. No, I saw that. Did you see that? I was standing here and then there was another shadow that moved behind me. That was not me. What is with all the mannequins? Can we relax? Bebe. Save me, Bebe. I'm just going to open this door. Nah. Like, what even... I don't even want to turn my back to it. I'm so confused on what to do. Like, I don't want to speak, but at the same time, I feel like I have to. Pick up door key. I'm guessing that's to the door with the arrows on it. Guys, I am sweating so much right now. Well, that was just rude. Oh. That thing was on the chair. Okay, so that thing is alive. Good to know. Hey, what happened to your head? What hap- What happened to your heads? This game's gotta relax. My battery's about to run out. R.I.P. Lil Timmy. Wait. Is this kid running around Lil Timmy? Fuck's sakes. Oh, 
Okay, new section, new section. Everything's fine. Hello? Dude, shut up. Stop saying hello. There's nothing good here for us. Okay. We found the black spray paint gun. So that means we can now spray on the walls to know where we've been. Aha, very cool. I like that mechanic a lot. Don't make a sound. It can hear, but no eyes. Okay. Alright, so right about now, chat, I'm going to start trying to be quiet. I'm going to make an attempt to be. Oh, hey there. How are you? Alright. Door is locked from the other side. Stepping on piles of glass and garbage can make noise. Guys, you think this is funny? Drake? Liam? Anyone? Completely lost chat. I, I, the rooms keep changing behind me. Wait, this is the door that was fake before. This door wasn't actually here. So, what was the point of that? I got nothing out of that, right? Hello? Hello? Dude, I, did I break my mic right there? I think I hit my mic. <laughs> it made it unplug. Dude, I didn't even... I, I literally felt like I actually got grabbed there for a second. Oh. Good to know. What is this? Is this the upside down? Mm -mm. Back rooms. Close. But why? Why, why what? Why what? Why would I check that room? What do you want from me? But why? Run, 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 run. my breathing.
it's a distraction. This TV probably makes a ton of noise. So we need to collect those things. Okay, we gotta find those. Dude, cool. Okay. According to the rules of the game, I should be safe in crawl spaces. Like, you can hear his footsteps, right? But you can't tell how close he actually is. Okay, he's close. He's real close. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's Timmy. There is, there is a story going on here, because it said, Do you remember me now? Fuck, he's coming in. This is gonna be rough. A booga booga booga. So the objective is we have to collect all six things. These are the things. I don't know if I fuck with the pool or not. Mmm, that's a save. Good to know. Another arrow? They said the arrows will guide you. Did you hear that?
No, 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 no. Okay, my theory is that our character killed uh, little Timmy. Has to be, right? Oh, you fuckers. You motherfuckers. You know I hate mannequins. Hi! We got two items. We need four more. Bag, beanie, family, frame, and bracelet. Oh, maybe we're his sibling? That's true, we could be a sibling. Why would we kill a kid though? Excuse me guys, you guys are blocking the way. Help me, Jackie. Welcome in everybody that's just joining in now. Welcome in guys. For those that don't know, I can't really speak too much because of the game that we're playing at the moment. If you can hear my voice, and there's a monster that's following us. Four seven three. Four seven three. Write that down. Write that down. He's coming. Right here, buddy. Come get me. Come get me. Three more left. Three more left. We need three more items. Hey, Timmy! Come get me, Timmy! 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 Timmy, I'm over here, Timmy! Listen to all the noise I'm making, Timmy! Timmy with me! Timmy, bro. Why don't I hear you running over here right now?
two more left. I need a bag and a beanie. Well, he wasn't wrong. He was definitely right beside me. I, I really, I really thought he was capping. I was like, he's, yeah, you're not, you're not beside me. There's no way. So dumb. Do you remember now? Why is that arrow pointing this way? There's no follow-up arrow. Limits. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Find a way to escape if you can. Nice one, Drake. Look at these fools trying to skate. <laughs> Come on, man, do something cool. You want to be famous, right? <laughs> oh yeah, Drake. Drake, come check out this little wimp. What a fucking idiot. What's he doing all alone here? Let's go fuck with him. <laughs> Grab the hammer. Liam, get his back. Let's go lock him up. Get the hammer, get the hammer, let's go. <laughs> let's lock him up in Liam's house. Have some fun with this little shit. Oh, my. 
almost a week had passed since the shocking, gruesome discovery of little Timmy. Almost a week had passed? Oh. walking on his way home when he most likely was kidnapped. His mother made a public plea to the killer to release her son, saying she just wanted him home so she could cook him his favorite meal, spicy fried chicken. Little Timmy's body was found two days later near the Lakeland Forest. He was found wearing his favorite yellow jacket and blue jean shorts, the same clothes he had been wearing at the time of the kidnapping. However, both of his arms and his head had been detached from his body. It is said that little Timmy was most likely kidnapped and tortured. His severed head was found near his body, while his arms were found some distance away. An autopsy revealed that he had been knocked unconscious with a blunt object, such as a hammer. It is also believed that little Timmy may have been alive while his arms were severed, which could explain why his arms were found further from his body. Little Timmy most likely ran around, armless for a few minutes, calling out for his parents to rescue him to no avail, until he passed out from the loss of blood. That is the point at which the killers caught up to him and chopped off his head. The autopsy also revealed that his last meal had been spicy fried chicken. Liam Williams, 18, and Drake Salvatore, 19, were both charged for the kidnapping, torture, and brutal murder of Little Timmy after police found a VHS recording belonging to Paul Hart, also 19, after he was admitted to the hospital for a skateboarding incident where he died from his injuries just minutes later. The VHS footage shows all of them involved with the kidnapping, captivity, torture, and the brutal murder of Little Timmy. They stated that they were not that bad to him and also fed him his favorite food before the murder took place. Both Liam and Drake received the death sentence for the crime. Paul Hart died from the skateboarding incident. Location where Paul Hart, one of his killers, had the accident. Some of his blood can still be visible. Liam Williams, 18, Drake Salvatore, 19, and Paul Hart, 19. That's actually crazy. I I loved how they did that. I love the little intro of the skateboarding and then the accident. And then as you're playing the game, you find out about this kid, Little Timmy. And you don't really think it's anything. But then you start to realize that Little Timmy is actually like the thing chasing you. That was a very dark. Like, I thought they were going to go the route of like, you know, like Little Timmy got killed by accident by the guy that we were playing as. Like, he killed him on accident. It was all an accident. But nah, that shit was intentional. I like how I like how they showed just enough VHS footage that you got you understood what was happening. And the voicing over it was really good too. That that was just really well done. That was um the greatest twist on a backrooms game yet. 100 percent It had its own art style, had its own mechanics. Um the only thing I could say is that it was kind of annoying collecting six things in that big ass map, but it really wasn't that bad. Jump scares were pretty good. Sometimes it got a little bit like, all right, like this is too many jump scares now. Like you got to relax, but most of them were pretty good. I like the parts where someone would speak into your ear, like when they spoke into my ear and then jump scared me. That was really good. Nah, that's crazy. That, that was really good. That was a great story. I, I love that.